Today we're going to be talking about a full-blown EDC loadout for under a hundred bucks. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm coming at you guys today from the beautiful Rocky Mountains out here in Colorado. And we're gonna be talking about everyday carry, the things that you carry in your pockets day in and day out. And this time I've completely switched up everything that I typically carry and I'm trying something new. For the past two weeks now, I have completely changed my EDC loadout, all with items that I found on Amazon. I gave myself a budget of $100 and I wanted to sort of alter my typical carry with some more budget-friendly options. Now for me, I'm really straying from the path here because once I find something that I like, I typically stick with it, which is why I don't do a whole lot of EDC updates. But I figured this would be a fun video to give you guys some of my thoughts on some more cost-effective items that are still pretty kick-ass. So before we get into my sub $100 EDC loadout, this video is brought to you by Clocks and Colors. Now if you're like me and you are into EDC, then chances are you already know about Clocks and Colors. They are a high quality jewelry manufacturer and they make some kick-ass products. Now I'm typically not one to accessorize very often, however, they sent out a few different pieces and you guys may have seen this in some previous videos as well. Right here I have one of their Illuminati rings. A newer piece on this hand is the Watery Grave Ring. A lot of their products are sterling silver like you see right here and I'm really partial to this design because it's got that octopus on there. I've also been rocking one of their chains for the past two weeks because these are EDC items for a lot of people. This is their scorpion woven chain and on the clasp here you can see the amount of detail that goes into all of these pieces. It's a little scorpion that actually holds the clasp closed. So they have a lot more items which you guys can find over on their website right now. If you're familiar with a friend of mine Peter McKinnon he actually has his own signature ring which is still available. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, I would check them out before they sell out. Now I've teamed up with Clocks and Colors to do a little bit of a giveaway for you guys. So if you follow the link in the description down below, you'll be able to sign up for their mailing list where they will automatically send you $40 credit to their store. To go on top of that, if you leave a comment down below on this video and sign up for their mailing list, we're going to be giving away a $500 gift card to one of you out there. We're gonna let this run for about a week and then the winner will be announced and Clocks and Colors will then send you an email and a $500 gift card to their store. You guys can check out all these products that I've shown you right here and many more over on their website. I will leave links for all of that stuff in the description down below. So huge thank you to Clocks and Colors for sponsoring this EDC loadout. Now without further ado, let's get into this sub $100 EDC loadout. So first up, let's talk about the wallet. This is probably the one that was hardest for me to transition out of because you guys know I love my Trayvax products and I really stick to one wallet because I love it so much. This was hard to deviate into, but I searched online and I found something that was sort of unique and a little bit different. So this is a slim wallet coming from the brand Bulliant. This thing is currently $20 over on Amazon, so really cost effective. It's made out of some nice leather, and so far, I mean, I really don't mind it. It's sort of like a bifold wallet with a money clip in the middle. It does have a quick access pocket on the outside, and this is typically where I keep one of my credit cards. It's got a little thumb slot on the bottom, so you can pop that out of there. Currently rocking a Chipotle card. Hey Chipotle, if you wanna sponsor a video, let me know. On the opposite side here, you have a little nylon pull tab, and when I pull this thing up, you get access to another card. So I keep actually my business credit card there, keep it a little bit more safe. And then when we open this thing up to the inside, the color went from gray to this orange color, which I'm not a big fan of, but hey, it's only 20 bucks. We got some more credit card pockets over on the side here. Of course, the money clip in the middle and then an ID pocket right here. You can slide your ID out and get really quick access to that. Now, although this wallet is minimal, it does allow you to carry a lot of cash, which is really nice. So it has this little money clip in the middle here sort of like spring tension, you simply just lay your bills in the middle there and clip that thing down. It's not the most slim wallet you will ever find, but I've been using it for the past two weeks now and it's been getting the job done. Now next on the list, let's move over to the keys. This is something I can never really leave the house without, of course. So I have my typical van key set up. I have my office keys on here as well. And for the most part, I'm typically carrying a Trayvax link. However, I found this little titanium carabiner and so far, it's pretty good. Now this is known as the Baxter Titanium Carabiner Keychain by a company known as Moth. Now for a carabiner, this thing is a little expensive, but it is titanium and it has a really cool design to it. This one is coming in at about $22 over on Amazon right now. 
As you can see with the design here, it's nice and simple. It's long enough that your keys can hang on the bottom here under this little security lock and it can hang on your belt loop and then fall right into your back pocket, which I typically like to carry my keys in that fashion. There's a little bit of like jimping here on the little textured gate and this whole thing is one solid piece of titanium. So as you can see here, when I bend that gate out of the way, your keys can slip onto there. And then when you are taking this thing off of your pants, your keys are not gonna fall off. You could definitely go with something a lot cheaper than this. However, my other two items that I have in this EDC loadout, they're really on the inexpensive side, but I'm not jeopardizing functionality with them. So those are the keys, let's move on to my light. Now typically, I carry my little Olight i1R EOS, little rechargeable light on here. However, I decided to switch it up. That definitely would have kept me under budget because those things are only like maybe $20, sometimes 15 over on Amazon. I decided to switch to an old light that I used to carry, but this is just a newer version of it. So for the light, I am back to a pocket light, of course, and this is the Streamlight MicroStream, and this one happens to be USB rechargeable. Right now it's coming in at about $30 on Amazon, and previously I carried the AAA version. This one, of course, if you pull on the head, reveals a little charge port here and you can recharge this thing and use it as much as you want. It has two different modes. One press will get you low mode, and then if you press it again, it will put it on high mode. You're looking at about 250 lumens. At least that's what Streamlight claims. It's definitely a lot brighter than my little keychain light before, and it really goes unnoticed in my pocket, so I've been liking this thing a lot. They do include a USB cord and a lanyard, so you are able to recharge this thing, and it does have the similar pocket clip to the old version. It fits really nice in the pocket. You can actually pop the clip off if you decide to, and then it has a little reverse clip here, so when you're wearing, say, a baseball hat, you can clip this light right to the brim and actually use it as a headlamp at night. That's a super nice feature, and when I previously carried this light, I used that a lot. So this thing has been great. It might actually replace my little keychain light. It's so slim, it fits in the pocket really well. It's nice not having it on my keys. Clicky tail cap, another thing that I like. So when I switch back to my main EDC, probably right after filming this video, this one might actually stay in my pocket, and then I might get rid of the little O light on my keys. And now for the final item, this one sort of doubles as two different items, maybe three depending on how you look at it. It's a knife and a multi-tool. This one was really hard for me to pick because I'm just sort of spoiled when it comes to knives. I really like investing in higher end knives and carrying them. However, this is one that I've had in the past and I decided on the Kershaw Shuffle. So this knife right now is coming in at about $22 on Amazon. I believe when I bought it, it was closer to like $15 or $18. However, it's still a fairly inexpensive knife. The Shuffle has a tiny little 8CR13 MOV high carbon steel for the blade there. And although this thing is really small, they have a little finger choil in the front and you can actually get a full handed grip on this thing. It has a little bit of jimping down the backspacer of the blade and that actually doubles as a bottle opener. And then a little jimping up the tiny little blade as well. Dual thumb studs, pretty decent pocket clip. However, kind of stout. This thing has actually been chewing up my pockets a little bit. It is a liner lock design. You got gray handles that are sort of plasticky, but again, it's like a sub $20 knife. And then probably one of the coolest features of this little thing is the little multi-tool function. Right on the side here, you have a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. If you simply pop that out, you can pop the bit into the bottom of the knife and then you have a little screwdriver. Now this is something that I've used maybe once or twice over the past two weeks to sort of like scrape and pry at things. I tightened something in the van and it's not the most elegant design ever, but it's a pretty decent knife that I can actually recommend to you if you use tools a lot. You don't wanna carry a dedicated pocket tool like a Leatherman Wave or something like that. This thing is pretty lightweight coming in at 3.52 ounces. And it seems like they've been going on sale quite a lot recently, so maybe you can actually get it for under that $22 that it is right now on Amazon. So those are my four main items in this budget version of an EDC loadout. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Maybe you know some other pretty budget style items that would sort of fit this style a little bit. If you want links to anything you saw here, I will leave them in the description down below. And if you have any questions on these budget items, let me know and I will try to answer anything as best as possible. Now one more shout out to the people over at Clocks and Colors. If you sign up for their mailing list right now, you can get a $40 instant credit for their website. And then if you sign up for the mailing list and leave a comment, you will be entered to win a $500 gift card to get any 
dope products that you may find over on their website. So that's going to be all for today. If you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.